am, am, wait, am I talking about me or? Oh yeah, Max. Well, Max, Max. generally. Max. Okay, Max. Whatever you want to do with Max. Maybe Max. By the way, this is a Max and Chet show. Welcome aboard, Max and Chet. So, so anyways, maybe Max and, and Chet can talk about their friend that has some that is similar to Francisco in some ways. And when I get to the interview questions, we'll we'll hit on that. But um, for starters, we're we're doing a Francisco part two episode, not um for any reason except it's just we had the most hits on this one particular, probably because Francisco and his buddies watch it and listen to it. <laughs> Thought but, it was hilarious. But it's also we received our first piece of um fan mail, if you could call it that. Or, or, I don't I wouldn't say hate hate mail would be a strong word, but perhaps. Um, dislike mail? Yeah, we'll dis- call it dislike mail? Di- discontent mail, maybe, something like that. But I wanted to address some or of the issues. Or contempt mail? Yeah, we'll contempt mail. Contempt mail. Let's call it contempt mail. I like that one. <laughs> I-, I wanted to address some of the issues. I- I'm probably not going to share it with um, Max because it was more of a, a personal thing. But I'll- I'll- Contempt I'll- towards you. <laughs> no, that's mainly cool, me. That's cool, mainly whatever. me. Mainly contempt towards Chet. Although, i got to tell you, this show would be a lot more family friendly without a certain someone using the F-bomb all the time. I apologize, all right, but all you know right. what? I'm an adult, and my audience is adults, and I'm drinking an adult beverage. So, you know what happens then? Adult words get thrown about. All right, all right. Fair enough. So, let's go about some critiques I have of the letter. The letter was very, um, I mean, it had some interesting points, but one of the points I wanted to hit on was it suggested, like, how would I like it if... If someone did this about me and had some things to say, you know, about things that I've done in my past, and there's a difference. See, when I do an action, usually there's there's. Pause. I yeah, I know you. You would would crave it. There's that's there's, a silly question for you, Chet, because if somebody said, "How would you like it if somebody sat here and nitpicked your fucking decision making process?" You would encourage, crave, and pay somebody <laughs> to do such a thing. I would be like a media <laughs> whore with right? it. You know, I'd be one Please, of those. I want to know. <laughs> That'd be one of those self-promoting hacks. <laughs> Just like, hey, well, look what they said about me. You better go listen to what it. What do you think? <laughs> no, but it was very interesting. I, I don't do things. It's not that I never do anything I regret. I regret a lot of things that I do. But there's usually a level of plausible deniability. There's no DNA evidence that, that commits <laughs> me to my mistakes. It's like that's not one me. Caught you making love on the bathroom floor. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Exactly. One me. So anyway, if, if you're a fan and you know who I... I mean, I, I kept Francisco Anonymous, so I would appreciate it if you do the same. But if not, it wouldn't really hurt my feelings terribly. I mean, you can do a whole rant about what an idiot I am. That's fine, you know. That's. I would encourage it. <laughs> I would, I, and me as well. Please don't leave me out of your hatred. That's true. Yes. Okay, so... so there's what? a lot of shit you can talk about me. <laughs> Just saying, it's open. It's out there. Don't. Speaking of which, it, it occurred to me in the Francisco episodes that... Um, that there's some similarities, and I wanted to cover those. Um, how, how many kids do you have, Max? Okay, so it's a gray area. I have four. Four. Four, four. technically. Just like Francisco. Four. Yes. Same. Okay. I have three biological. Oh, okay. And one non-biological who's still my kid. All right. Gotcha. So. Okay. So you're three <laughs> biological. Sorry about the screaming demon that just ran by. Oh, it was yeah. craziness. Yeah. But uh Okay, so that's not that's not quite the same resume as, as Francisco, but um see, something about you But I still have my yeah, I mean there's more to it. So I mean if you want to do a whole show about me, yeah, you could I, uh, I don't wanna I just kinda wanna hit on a couple points how, how we critique Francisco, but maybe we're I yeah, mean, we're not not because we're above him. Right. Me personally, because like look, I got two baby mamas. <laughs> so and something else I wanted to mention, and this is kind of a critique on me, but you tend, like the lower life forms of this world, you tend to have sympathy for and hang out with. And and, and I use an example. I mean, I don't want to use other examples that would sound bad right now, but I'm talking about like when you you gave a certain someone a ride in Iraq who's like the biggest dirtbag I ever met in my life. And you're like, well, you got to help people every now and then. And I, I agree with that, except for him, I guess. <laughs> and then there's another, there was a particular um, female trooper that... Uh, that I just thought was the most negative person I I ever met in my life, and, and just couldn't. I felt like she had cooties. I didn't even like to like be near her within a hundred feet. But but you Max, you you know you still probably keep in touch with her, and you're you're kind of so. What? Sorry. I guess what I'm getting at this is the similar between Francisco and you is that you. Um, but also this is kind of a rag on myself. Well, I am, maybe I don't. I've never met Francisco. I'm just a third party outside viewer right. of this whole topic. So, but you know. I've been referred to, and I guess I see myself as a people person, so maybe he's just a people person. That could be. Yeah. But, but yeah, see, that's what... 
Because I, as much as I would want to say bad things about the company you keep, I feel like we're pretty good friends. <laughs> so anything bad I say about right. that goes in your right. face, sucker. <laughs> That's right. Right. So, so if I have bad friends, that's a trick. Have good friends as well, so they can't bitch about your bad friends because be like, dude, I'm friends with you, right? Right. So, boom. So that's cool. I, you know, maybe we don't want to go into a whole another fifteen minutes on Ooh. on Francisco. For Whatever. It's a good way to start that start a night, though. We yeah. Started it. But maybe we should make this like a. We can start over. A you half know, there's been, yeah, because you know what's been bothering me right now. What's that? My recent addiction to Avengers. All right. Yep. I saw the movie. It was good. I'm pretty sure I'm now going to commit my life to being a full-time superhero. All right. Right on. I don't know how that's going to turn out for me. You know, in the real world, vigilantes aren't looked upon very good. The the trick is keeping the cape for being shown. you got to, like, have this back collar up. I've had to deal with this for some years now. So you're going to pop your collar. Yeah. Like a (laughs) douchebag. So all those douchebags were not douchebags. They're actually undercover superheroes. Yeah, yeah, the pink shirt, the pop collar. Yeah, that's what that's all about. They're hiding their capes. Interesting. That's correct. But anyways, yeah, they got the movie, which was good. I enjoyed it. it made me smile. Uh, but then they got that Facebook game, addicted a little bit. Not as bad as maybe other people, but uh, still, I still enjoy the shit yeah, out there's of it. There's an implication there that possibly if towards I, you, Chet. You're on double your level. I haven't even played in two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, because you played like constantly for like a month, bro. Yeah. So you know, I mean, I I make I take breaks. I play so a little I'm bit. I'm hardcore. Then, I play a little bit, then live my life. <laughs> And then play a little bit. You like you you play a lot, and then oh shit, I have like, yeah. But um, excited. I was just excited. Everything Avengers. All over Facebook, there's like Avengers this, Avengers that. And I'm always more of a DC comic. That's guy. my point. That was my point. I, I forgot about that. That's what I'm saying. My obsession with Avengers now is really hurting me. In my, I feel like I'm betraying myself. <laughs> Because when I was a kid, I was a DC fan, and everybody was like, yeah. "Oh, X Men, this and blah blah blah." Marvel, so great, and I want because I collected the comics too. And I'm like, "Oh, I like it." But I was a I was a DC fan, man. True. It was Spider Man. True in Blue. Avengers movie. No. Oh, good. good. True Blue. DC though. Superman number one. New yeah. Uno. Superman. Me too. Nobody beats Superman, dude. Yeah. Super motherfucking man. That's right. Dude, nobody beat. I'm just saying. There's a reason they're called. He, he's not like Spider Man or. All these other mans, you know, he is, he's the only one with the name Superman. Like, he's a super... Here's the thing, you can't mix him up. Like, I don't want to see, if Batman's involved, I don't want to see, like, to me, nothing's better than Superman, so I don't want to see him team up with Wonder Woman and Batman. Oh, well, they say like they're going to make it a, 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 a Justice League movie. Yeah. yeah. Supposedly, because they made the Green Lantern, and they made the Batman, the three Batman movies, now the third one's about to come out. And they're making another. They're making another Superman movie. Think about Superman. And and they made the Green Lantern. Supposedly they're making a Wonder Woman movie. Just like they're taking cue from uh, Marvel series. Right. And and they're gonna make the Justice League. And they're probably they're purposely delaying it. I'm pretty sure, so that they could not have to compete with Marvel. Right. You know what I want to see? Be silly to have to just try to compete. You a, know, a modern day Linda Carter who should be. Um... Linda Carter was that like President Carter's wife? No, that was oh. the actress who. Oh, was okay. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman. What was President Carter? I, I have no I, idea. I don't know. I just went I there. I honestly don't know. Jimmy I don't know. Why I just went there. Jimmy Carter's wife. <laughs> Jimmy Carter's wife is apparently Wonder Woman now. Hot, just... hot taxes are good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! All right. Anyways, who should be? You know, I used to have a crush on this woman until she went to the Daily Show. Uh, don't tell Roxy. Mm. Who's gonna listen to this? Um, what's that lady's name? You know what I'm talking about, right? The, the original Wonder Woman. No, Wonder not the original. I'm just talking about someone else who dressed up as her once. Uh, I'm thinking of the original Wonder Woman. I know, but I'm just saying the person who went to the Daily Show from... Or Bionic Woman. From Attack of, Bionic of the Show. Woman. Oh, yeah, she's like in uh, her Bionic 60s. Woman. Woman. Oh. She's still... She's... A, she's the, Lindsay yeah. Wagner. Why Lindsay do I know Wagner. all these actresses? Okay, like? okay. I don't know why. <laughs> That's a little creepy, actually, but we're going to come back to that. All right. Lindsay Wagner. There's a good cougar. <laughs> There's a good cougar. You can tell she's old, and she is old. Or at least as last time I saw her was maybe probably a while ago. The last time I saw her, dude, Lizzie Wagner was still looking hella good. And, you know, I'm sure she's got money in the bank. Dude, cougar right there, bro. Cougar. Okay, she's a lot older now, but she's probably like uber <laughs> cougar. Okay, so she's reaching senior citizen cougar. Okay, but I'm just saying, if you put her up against like an average person her age, she's we're talking fucking super cougar, Okay. Just saying. Hey, you, you know who's hot for an old lady also? Uh, Meryl Streep. Ew. Ew? Meryl Dude, have you seen her She in... wasn't hot when she was young, bro. Have you seen her Lizzie in... Lizzie Wagner uh, was hot when she Mama was Mia. Who is this? 
That's not when Lindsay Wagner. I'm trying to find an old, uh, decrepit Lindsay. We're looking, Wagner yeah, we're looking at like, Lindsay Wagner photos, and all of a sudden, in this middle of these, all these Lindsay Wagner photos, is this like hot playmate, and I'm like, holy shit, so that ain't Lindsay Wagner. Anyways, apparently she is still pretty hot. Although, is that her? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. For somebody of her age, look at her, dude. Right. At her, if you're her age and you have a girl that hot, you're fucking doing well, dude. All right. Look oh, that's that. the new. That's the new bionic woman. I did not click on that. What is going on? Did I? Is it you have touch screen now? <laughs> no, don't do that, man. That's a doggone 26-inch LCD. Oh, my God, God it's a money. softy razor, you <laughs> fucking Suzanne Summers. <laughs> oh, my God. We're, we're, my, just, we're just all into these these, these <laughs> gone nappy. 70s, 80s <laughs> women's name. That is, the, that is the theme of tonight, is 70s <laughs> female actresses. Francisco, the sequel. Hmm. An old lady... Anyways, where are we at? We should get you. Should, we should get Francisco in here too. For if we're gonna do a Fran a real Francisco sequel, we need to have Francisco yeah, and you know to what? interview him. And we his can get wife him online. Yeah, are we'll, interested or, in doing that? I should have called him, but we did see? this spur of the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. We always do everything spur of the moment. That's, that's our motto. That's, that's our, our mo. Our that's our mo. Operat that's operat right. by, the we have two minutes left. I want to talk a little bit more about superheroes. I fucking love superheroes. I, I do too. I believe in my heart I'm a superhero just without superpowers or super bank accounts. Well, I want to talk about like Bruce Wayne. His real superpower is his super bank account. Right. Without his money, he never would have been able to fucking travel to Europe and spend 10, 12 years learning martial arts from fucking masters. Okay. He never would have been able to uh, afford the Batmobile. He would be driving the Bat Pinto. You know, or the bat bus. Okay, he'd be taking the bat public transportation. <laughs> All right, he wouldn't afford his fucking Kevlar cape. He would have a fucking uh, a piece of fabric cut from the fucking Walmart fabrics counter. You know, it's a good point. I'm just saying. What, what Batman's say. true power is his super bank account. Go yeah. on. All right. He, he doesn't get a whole lot of sleep either. You know, he's kind of probably does a lot of super drugs with his super, super money, drugs. right? <laughs> so, he's got money, bro. My, my point about superheroes. He blasts me, oh, you work full-time, and you raise a family, although that's probably what I'm crappiest at. Of the <laughs> Raising things. the family, is that what said? Yeah. Whatever, raise, dude. He's a good, he's a good man. He's I, a good I try, man. but anyways. He's a great man. But, you know, raise the family. He has not killed one of his children that's yet. That's correct. They're still alive. Still alive. Well, True story. Um, anyways, I work full-time, raise a family, go to school full-time. People are like, man, how do you, you know, how do you do so much? And it, what, what, what drives me nuts is everyone in the world has this capability. It is, it is not Most a superpower. Most of them do it. <laughs> it is not a superpower. It's just the really lazy ones, and the, or the ones that don't have responsibilities are just blown away by people that have responsibilities. Like, how the fuck are you a parent and work? And school. What? See, I, you got me beat there. <laughs> I purposely chose not to work and school and parent at the same time. So. I, I don't, I, I'm not going to say I blame you, but what I am saying is I have is just slight options, so, yeah. Everybody Everyone is, is capable. Fully, fully capable. And, and You'd be amazed what you're you're capable of. It's all about time that. management is really what it is. I'm worried about time management because I'm a procrastinator. You are, but... I, Look up procrastinator, you're going to see a picture of Max, Max <laughs> Danger. <laughs> In case you've never seen my face, look in the dictionary. Max Danger, under procrastinator. Procrastinator, yeah. And I've, I've gotten pretty bad about it. I'm one of those guys, I can write a bunch of stuff down, like what I'm going to do, but I don't necessarily do it. Your honeydews? <laughs> yeah, I write my own honeydews. <laughs> well, anyways, this has kind of been a long roundabout continuation of Francisco Part 2. We talked about a little... Next time we're going to get Francisco and, and, and his wife. For um, Part 3. Part 3. And, and they've expressed interest in this. That's what's funny. I got the she angry letter or whatever, it. and they're the like... Contempt and mail. They loved it. Yeah, contempt mail. And but they loved it. I'm so gonna copyright that shit. Contempt mail. Contempt mail, no, bro. Right. Copyright. You put that shit online and be like email, and then you can have your contempt mail. Contempt mail, right? Dude, like, we're onto something. Right? You, you are. This is your idea, man. You see, you sent people when you open up your 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 fucking Gmail account, and you can see, oh, these are all my inbox emails. And then, shit, look, I have two contempt mails. I know <laughs> what's gonna be in there, right? Like, you I can know. Sell this to celebrities. I know there is not gonna be like something fucking fabulous in there. Think about all the contempt mail that. Like great, act, the greatest actor of all time, Alec Baldwin gets. Think about <laughs> that. I love how you refer every time he every no, not just on this radio show, but every time he refers to Alec Baldwin, he goes the greatest actor of all time, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> he can't just in the middle of a conversation, he'll be like, "So Alec Baldwin." He doesn't say that. He'll just be like, "So the greatest actor of all time, Alec Baldwin." <laughs> Fucking greatest actor of all time, Alec Baldwin. We're, okay, we gotta end this. We're gonna run out of time. So good night, Max and Chet Show signing off.